Considering global events, are you ready to face potential food shortages this winter? With winter just around the corner, it's the perfect time to think ahead and get our pantries ready. You know, as the cold sets in, there's always the possibility of facing shortages in food supplies. Remember the last winter? We don't want to be caught off guard, especially when it comes to essential foods. So let's chat about the seven must-have foods you should stock up on right now. Trust me, you'll thank yourself later when you're cozily sipping on that warm soup or munching on a snack, knowing you're all set for the colder months. And hey, before we dive into this video, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our channel, Finance Economist. Give this video a like and drop a comment below with your winter preparation tips. Ready to get prepared? Let's get into it. Number seven, berries. Those delicious little bites of sweetness. Blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, you name it, have a special place in our hearts and breakfast bowls. Be it in our morning cereals, smoothies, or simply consumed fresh, their vibrant colors and flavors perk up our days. However, the berry bliss might face a few speed bumps soon. Areas recognized for berry production, like the Pacific Northwest in the U.S. and some parts of Europe, are witnessing unusual weather patterns. Intense heat waves, followed by sudden cold snaps, have left the berry plants confused and stressed. Jane, a berry farmer from Oregon, shared her concerns with me. It's been a whirlwind. We can't predict the yields anymore. Some days the berries are flourishing, and the next, they're just not coping with the climatic yo-yo. So for those of us with a soft spot for berry-flavored anything, it might be wise to savor every little fruit we get. Our morning smoothies and fruit salads could be taking a slight hit in the coming months. Number six, olive oil. Mediterranean diets swear by it. Chefs love it. And let's be honest, a drizzle of it on salads or freshly baked bread elevates the dish instantly. But the serene olive groves in countries like Spain, Italy, and Greece are encountering their set of woes. From sudden storms damaging the fragile olive blossoms to the notorious olive tree disease that's been on the rise, olive yields are in jeopardy. Lorenzo, an olive oil producer from the rolling hills of Tuscany, said with a heavy sigh, Our olive trees are like family. Seeing them struggle is heartbreaking. This year the oil isn't flowing as freely. So if you've been pondering why that bottle of extra virgin olive oil is burning a hole in your pocket, or why the flavor is a tad bit off, the olive orchards have a tale of struggle to tell. Number five, cocoa and chocolate. For many of us, this might be the most heart-wrenching one. Chocolate, that universal comfort food, the answer to bad days and heartbreaks, might just get a tad bit rarer. Major cocoa producers like Ivory Coast and Ghana are feeling the heat, and not in a good way. Erratic rainfalls and rising temperatures are affecting the delicate cocoa trees and their yield. Additionally, pests and diseases are finding these stressed trees an easier target. Dudon, a cocoa farmer from West Africa, shared his observations. The cocoa pods aren't as plump, and the beans inside aren't as flavorful. He added with a touch of sadness, It's not just about chocolates and candies. For us, it's a way of life. So, chocolate aficionados, it might be wise to indulge mindfully and cherish every morsel. Who would have thought that our trusty bars of dark or milk chocolate might be on this list? But here we are, facing a reality where even our sweetest comforts aren't immune to global challenges. Number four, coffee. Hold on to your mugs, coffee lovers. Coffee is truly the lifeblood for countless people, kickstarting their mornings and providing a boost during those afternoon slumps. But the bean responsible for this daily ritual adored globally, is under duress. Major coffee producers, including the likes of Brazil, Colombia, and Ethiopia, are grappling with a multitude of hurdles. It's not just about waking up to the aroma of freshly brewed coffee. It's about the changing climate. Unpredictable temperatures combined with irregular rainfall patterns have posed serious challenges. As if that wasn't enough, the dreaded coffee borer beetle is on the prowl, proving to be another headache for coffee producers. Ricardo, a coffee plantation owner in Colombia, expressed his worries. The beans aren't maturing consistently. Some are underripe and others are overripe, all on the same plant. Getting that rich flavor we're known for is becoming a game of chance. So, while we relish our espressos, lattes, or cappuccinos, it's important to remember the journey of those beans, which might be getting rockier. Number three, potatoes. From crispy fries to comforting mashes and wholesome stews, the potato has cemented its place in our hearts and plates. 
But these starchy delights have been running into some troubles lately. Prime potato territories like Belgium, the Netherlands, and parts of the good old U.S. are getting a taste of Mother Nature's unpredictable mood swings. The weather's been playing tricks, torrential downpours one moment and a parching dry spell the next. This seesaw of conditions can wreak havoc on the potato's growth, sometimes leaving them malnourished or worse, rotting away. Liam, a potato farmer from Idaho, said, It's a guessing game now. Sometimes we dig up and find a bountiful yield, and other times it's just disappointment. As we munch on our crisps or enjoy a hearty potato casserole, it's something to ponder. Our comfort foods are not as comfortable anymore. Number 2. Bananas. They're not just a convenient snack or the perfect addition to your morning smoothie. These yellow wonders have an incredible journey before they end up in our fruit bowls. But here's the thing. That journey might become a lot more complicated in the future. Most of the bananas we munch on originate from places like Latin America. It's here that a concerning situation is unfolding. Panama disease, a pesky soil-borne fungus, is on the rise. And while that might sound like some remote agricultural problem, it's a major concern for banana enthusiasts and farmers alike. This fungus is particularly nasty for the Cavendish banana, which, if you didn't know, is the most popular banana variety we consume worldwide. In simple terms, our beloved bananas are under threat. I recently had a chat with Manuela, a passionate banana grower from Ecuador. She shared, Our family has been growing bananas for generations. It's more than just a business for us. It's our legacy. But this disease, it's like watching a cherished family heirloom deteriorate right before our eyes. And it's not as easy as just switching to a different banana variety. It takes time and resources. Number one, corn. A key ingredient in many dishes and a major feed for livestock, corn, or maize is encountering hurdles. With changing climate patterns, especially in the U.S. Midwest, the predictability of a good corn harvest is dwindling. Lucas, a farmer from Iowa, pointed out, It's either too dry or too wet, and the crops are suffering. Plus, pests seem to be having a field day. Whether we enjoy corn on the cob during a BBQ or consume it indirectly through meat or other products, the golden grains journey is getting more complex by the year. Wow, isn't it fascinating and a bit alarming how much our essential foods are affected by changing weather patterns and unforeseen challenges. It makes you appreciate the hard work and dedication of farmers around the world even more. As we move forward, it's crucial to support sustainable farming practices and be more aware of our consumption habits. Uh, that From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for tuning in and spending time with us today. If you found this information valuable, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Also, if you have any insights, tips, or personal experiences related to these foods, we'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below and let's keep the conversation going. Lastly, if you're not already a part of our community, please subscribe to the Finance Economist channel for more insightful content like this. Stay informed and stay prepared.